Hello everybody and welcome back to Danzy Minecraft Universe. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, around my road, uh, specifically T-Junction. This is going to be part of my realistic road series. This is mainly for British uh, people, not necessarily for British people, but the, the roads I've made themselves are along the lines of uh, British roads. So... I mean, obviously, if you're from uh, the US or anywhere else, you can still make the roads the same. You just change up the road markings and the uh, traffic lights and all that sort of thing. Just change them as you need them. Okay, let's go. Let's go down here. And we'll start from here. Uh, I use grey wool for the roads. And then I just use the white wool or the light grey wool for the road markings. Now, a lot of people tend to make the roads about five, each lane about five blocks wide. Whereas I just, I'm not overly fussed. I'll change it up. Some are five, some are six, some are seven, because not all roads are the same anyway. So, uh, that's my little police car there. It's not the best. It's supposed to be a kind of police interceptor that you see in Great Britain. Not brilliant. Okay. So here we make our way up to the T-junction. Uh, for the lights, I've just used a couple of blocks of stone, uh, 13 fence posts, and then the uh, stone slab with a couple of lights. What I do for my roads as well, because the lights are so high up, the actual lights don't shine down onto the road. So let's just put it onto night time. I've just put... A couple of lights in the road and covered them up with the grey carpet so from when you're high up from here then you can see it looks like the lights are actually shining down on the roads I've done the same as well for all the uh, for any traffic that I've done so far I've done the same to look like the headlights are lighting up the road I've just put some lights underneath covered them up with carpet and it just gives that nicer effect so I haven't done it for that one over there oh well all right let's get back today Okay, so here's the T-junction. Uh, in Britain, we drive on the left side of the road, so that's the way I've done it. So these are the crossings. These are the sort of crossings that you see in Britain. Um, you press that for the lights, and then when it goes green, you walk across. Now, for the road markings here, I've just used the uh, buttons. And for the traffic lights themselves, block of stone, Fence post, block of gold, item frame with a, I think it's, what is it, a furnace? What's that one again? Dropper, that's it. Uh, it just looks like the buttons that you press. And then to go up, just use, uh, sorry, I'm terrible at remembering the names of blocks. Quartz block, there you go. Item frame, and then I've used the head there for the walk sign. And then on this side, you've got redstone uh, for the for the stop. And then if you go over to here, where the lights are on green, I've just used the emerald. The good thing is, because they look, always look like they're lit up anyway, so they give their own sort of glow off to them. So, And then you've got specific road markings along here. So this is where we'll do a right, so the road then goes off just separately to a little slip bit and you'd stop here and then it's for the stop sign then when it turns green you will go up to hit there and then turn and carry on straight down the road there you go and what we've got what we'd use in Britain are these little things um, I don't actually know what they're called just call them the junction box do you have them on little islands that are in the road and they light up They've usually got a little blue sign with an arrow on, um, just pointing in which direction to go past. I think it's just so people don't crash into the little islands, but um, you'll probably notice that most of these kind of roads that have them, that have these little junctions in them. In fact, more roads have them than not. I didn't realise until I was building it, when I was um, looking at a few photos, it seemed that was everywhere, but you just take them for granted. And you don't overly notice them. So there we go, uh, I've got a little road sign there. 
I've just used wool um, and then some just little signs. I haven't written anything on them yet because I don't know where anything is. And then I've just got some traffic, a little pickup, uh, a little tanker truck. This tanker truck is uh, designed by uh, Jag Thunder. Uh, I will put the link uh, to the build for this at the end uh, on the YouTube page because he's actually got a tutorial for that. And then you would carry on down the road like so and then we've got another set of traffic lights here this is just another little junction uh, because this is one way it's a dual carriageway so you can only carry on in one direction but then you turn down here again I've got the same crossing there and there and then it's pretty much the same as you would drive out just like that and then over this side nice little bus stop so the bus will pull in here, all aboard, and then pull back out and carry on down the road. There you go. Let's have another little look at night. And there we have it. So for those who enjoy building roads for their cities, I hope this has give you um, a couple more ideas. In all fairness, the roads I used to do before were just boring, just square. There was no shape to them. Um, but now I think I've really got my roads looking that little bit better. It just makes it look that bit more realistic. So there you go. Stay tuned for the next video. I will be showing you around my KFC, which is over there. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.